Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I have never done before, ever, ever. Uh, only because this is actually new. So this mold here in the background, it's a silicon mold. If you haven't seen the video, I'm going to put a link in the description. It's actually the video before this, I believe. This was made for cold process soap. That's a, a bar of cold process soap. So this slab makes 40 bars of cold process soap and I'm hoping to just cover the bottom in one inch thick soap with melt and pour. Instead of this being upright like that, it will actually be flat. So I'm only going to fill this mold up until that height. I'm not going all the way like I do with cold process soap. Okay, so for my fragrance, I am choosing lime basil and mandarin. And the reason why is because I've only got a little bit of this left and some of the other fragrances I want to keep for other projects. So I've worked out that one inch height in here will be around about 1.7 kilograms. So 1,700 grams of melt and pour base. My colors are going to be, I know you can't see these, I'm really sorry, the lighting's too bad. This is Kelly Green. You can see the color that it's gonna be on the label. This is Lime Green, same color as the jar. And this is yellow, which is obviously the same as the jar as well. So this is all the goat's milk that I have left. I'm not even sure how much it is, probably around about 200 grams, but it's enough to do a little swirl. And then the rest I'll use the clear base with the liquid dyes so you'll be able to see the swirls through them. All right, so I'm gonna chop this up. I'll melt it down and I will be back in just a minute. Okay, so I've got my goat's milk. It's all melted down and that's fine. I'm not gonna actually scent that. I'm only gonna scent the uh, clear base. Um, but this started creating a skin while I was melting my goat's milk down. So I'm gonna melt it down a little bit more, add the fragrance and then split it up. So I just wanna say thanks to all those people who recommended the, the DK8000 scale. You can see this one here, I'm pushing on it and it's not turning on. I've literally, there it is. I've literally gotta press it down really hard or a few times to actually turn it on. So this is the fragrance and I'm thinking around about 40 grams. So hopefully there's enough in here. I love this fragrance, it's so good. Okay, I'm just gonna stir this in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't have to worry too much about my goat's milk that's creating a skin of its own, but... Um, oh. So what I'm gonna do is split these up. I don't really have a volume. I'm just gonna sort of wing it, eyeball it, so to speak. Put them next to each other and... Sort of get an idea. And then there's that one as well. Which is about the same, but it's a bit wider, so... Okay, so I've got three colors and then my goat's milk. So I'm gonna add Kelly Green to this one. One, two, three, four. Let's do four drops for each one. Just got one. And hopefully there's enough in the yellow. Yep. One, two, three, four. All right, let's mix these up. I love Kelly Green, that's so nice. And this one is Lime Green. So it's obviously a, a lighter pastel version of Kelly Green. And then we've got Yellow. Mm. 
I'm gonna put some shooting star glitter in the yellow. Actually, I don't have any shooting star glitter left, so I'm gonna use this cosmetic glitter white sparkle. Just a little bit, it doesn't need a lot. Just need it to sparkle a little bit. Yeah, see? Sparkly. Okay, everything seems to be setting up properly. Let's check some temperatures just to make sure. 125, 128, 127, 124. They're all under 130, so I think we're ready to go. All right, so we're ready to pour. Let me see if I can get this in. There we go. It's very bulky, so it's hard to move properly. I'm gonna get a little bit of this white in here first. Because it's starting to clump. You know what, I think white is the key here. Because that's the bit that you actually see moving around in this, not so much the colours. Okay, and the last little bit of yellow. Okay, 
Okay, it looks pretty good. A lot of the white has actually sunk to the bottom. So I'm just gonna spray this with rubbing alcohol. And just lightly with this, I'm just gonna move it somewhat, like just slightly, just so I can get some of that white to Some of it doesn't want to move because it's already solid. Okay, spray that again. I'll bring you in for a closer look. So that's what it looks like. Looks pretty good to me. I'll just have to wait until this sets and then I'll pop it out of the mold and we'll cut it up into bars and see how we go. All right, so I'll be back soon. Okay, so it's about five hours later. This is now cooled down, so I'm gonna take it out. That's the best part about melt and pour. It's ready virtually instantly, same day. Okay. I'll just get rid of this. Hopefully, this is one inch thick. Ho oh, ho! Holy smokes. I thought the front was really good. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm not sure that's one inch thick though. Let's have a look. Well, the ruler is actually, it's not, it's not one inch thick. Because the ruler, so it's smaller. Oh no, I'll have to melt this back down again. Okay, well, it was a good test anyway. I'll still cut them up as normal bars, but, um, oh, that looks good. Look at that, see through it. Um, I'll cut them up as normal bars, but next time I'll have to do a little bit more. Looks like I'm gonna have to do two kilograms so I can get that one inch thickness. All right. So I'll make some markings on this and I'll be back in a minute when I'm trying to figure out how many I can get per slab. All right, so I've gridded this out. I can get 15 bars. I don't know if you can see the lines there or not. There's like a line there. And there's one that intersects there and another one there. Well, that's laid out, so. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 bars. So we're going to see if I can cut them and hopefully they fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one of these bars at a time, just to make sure. Okay, so I think that bar is too wide. Yes, it is. There is a line that I made just down the side here. I believe there's a small line at the bottom.
Okay, so this goes in wrap, but as you can see, there is a gap where it should have been thicker. So that one fits. It's got a, a little bit of a gap at the top where I can put the plastic and let it fold over. So that's fine. So that's perfectly all right. But as I said, I would have preferred it to be a little bit thicker so it could fit in that box. Okay, so that one goes into the box as well. So that's great. That is a perfect size. So I'll do the rest of these and then I'll be back in a minute. All right, so these soaps came out great. I really love this um, this whole goat's milk that's sinking to the bottom. Uh, it's got a lot of glitter on it too. A little bit of a swirl in there, not so much on the top, but definitely that white on the bottom is just beautiful. That one's really, really nice. You can see that you can partially see through it. Okay, so a few things that I'd do differently. For one, I would probably use more base next time. Like I said before, 1.7 kilograms I've used, but I would probably make it maybe 1.9, maybe even two kilograms. If I did a swirl again, I probably wouldn't use green, green, and yellow. The only reason why is because green, green, and yellow have simply merged together. The only thing that's a swirl in here is the white. And the white is mostly sunk to the bottom. And that's because it's goat's milk. If you use clear, that won't do that. For some reason, the goat's milk is actually heavier than the clear base. That's why it's sunk to the bottom. They're pretty much the only things that I would do differently. It's a great little test. I know that I've got the silicon mold there now if I need to do something in a hurry and I need to do it like a little swirl or maybe I can put hearts throughout the whole thing and cut them up rather than put them in a loaf. So if I want to lay them flat then I can. A little bit of cutting up like some of these bars are not perfectly the same size like they're you probably can't see too much on the camera there but they're not they're not equal like there's a little bit of overhang. My cutting skills aren't that great. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.